on ESPN. Troy Hembrick took over as the full-time starter in Big D last year. He ran for nearly 1,000 yards. This club looks for even more out of him in 2004. Dallas Cowboys, Oakland Raiders. It's game time. Well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Hi there, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the Oakland Coliseum. With me, my colleague, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game features a big-time matchup between an elite wide receiver and a defensive back who's one of the best in the league. That's right, Dan, and you've got to figure they'll be seeing a lot of one another today. Deshaun Johnson is a superb player. He possesses a great blend of skills and abilities, and that well-roundedness is what makes him such an effective player. On the other end of the field stands a player who needs no introduction. Clarence Love is widely regarded as the best cornerback in the entire league. This guy is totally focused. When he's on the field, he is in the game. You won't see him making very many mistakes. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a real dogfight in store for us. Well, all right, Peter. We'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses. But first, the coin toss. Tails. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Janikowski boots the opening kickoff. The Cowboys let this bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys' offense will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Gibson puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Derek Gibson played his coverage very snug, and as a result, the pass was incomplete. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Glenn goes in motion. Carter throws a bullet to the flat the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Harry Glenn had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch. And Peter, he reminds me a little of a, of a lion laying in the weeds out there waiting to catch. And you need cat-like reflexes to keep these guys down. Johnson brings down the lob left sideline and they get the first on third and long. Let's go, Rich. Hey, guys, they about to pass. First and ten. Carter airs this one to the left sideline, and this one is incomplete. Then watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented, it's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. It's intercepted. One man to beat, no one in front of him. Touchdown! Touchdown, Raiders! Gibson picks off the ball, and he's going all the way. Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. He'll get the touchdown, and he does it in style. Beautiful play. Now 
now the extra point. And the extra point is good. good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Janikowski booms a beauty here. Bickerstaff decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 16. Eric Bickerstaff thought he had some running room from the end zone, but gets planted before he gets to the 20. The Cowboys stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 16-yard line. Glenn goes in motion. Carter throws a beauty to the right side, and it's intercepted. Left down at the 28. Woodson shows why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Raiders are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 28-yard line. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel pack. Off his left guard and will gain close to six. Second and three. Wheatley gets the call again and gets it upfield. First down at the 12. First down. 